Welcome to this tutorial. We'll see how to create a client policy for a VPN in Web ADM. In a previous video, we explained how to configure your VPN and our Radius Bridge to connect your VPN and open OTP authentication server. By the way, the Radius Bridge comes free with Open OTP Security Suite. So at this point, the VPN is already configured in Radius with the client name VPN. Now, in this tutorial, we'll see how to create a client policy so that a particular group of users can access this VPN. Then, we'll define an authentication strategy, which in this case will be multi-factor authentication. First, go to the Admin tab and select Client Policies. At the bottom of the page, click on Add Client. Indicate your client's name, VPN. Complete the description if you want, and then proceed. At this point, this new object is ready to be created. Click on Create Object. Are now in your new objects settings. First, define the user domain. As WebADM is multi-tenant, you can connect different sources of users. So this is where you select the user directory. Let's say it's the default domain here. Then, if you go to the allowed groups, you can authorize a particular group to access this system. Here, only the group named staff is allowed. Among the many setting options you will find here, you may for example want to limit the login access for certain locations only. To do so, select Allowed Locations and click on Edit to open a new window. Check the authorized login countries, for example, let's choose France and Luxembourg. Then apply your changes. Now let's say you want to restrict the access time, for example, only Wednesdays, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Select the time slots of your choice and then apply. Now, let's define the authentication strategy. To do that, go to Forced Application Policies and check Application Settings and then Edit. These specific application settings will override any default user or group level settings. First, set the login mode. Here, let's choose LDAP OTP, which will require both an OTP and the LDAP password. Then, in the OTP type, set the OTP method you want. Let's say a token. We can define a fallback method, which will be the backup OTP method in case the first method fails. For example, let's choose an SMS. Click Apply, and here we are. The authentication strategy for our VPN is all set. Now, let's see the result in action. When the user logs into the VPN client, he receives a push notification on his mobile waiting for an approval. And that's it, he's connected. Now, let's see what happens if the countdown is over. Let's speed up this part. Now, the user is prompted to enter a one-time password. And in case he doesn't, the fallback method activates. He receives an SMS with another OTP. And here we are, he's connected to the VPN. Thanks for watching.